mind is not nearly as impossible as you may think it is. Well, when you were learning 3x3, it was hard, but not impossible. That's the same story with blind. And, like 3x3, it required practice. And, like learning 3x3, blind is something that is well within your ability to learn. There are 20 pieces on a Rubik's Cube, and that means most of the time you memorize either less than or equal to 20 pieces. What you memorize is the locations of the pieces and not the moves you have to do. So, starting with the basics. This is a T permutation. Okay, so it's some random PLL. Well, if you look closely, you can see that these two edges get swapped, and these two corners get swapped. Hmm. Well, ignore the corners for now, but what if instead of swapping these two, you swap these two by just moving this up here? So what you've just done is that you've moved whatever was in here, down here. So if I just do that again, we just swapped these two pieces again. And if I just do the algorithm on its own, we just swap these two pieces. This is basically what you would do in blind. You solve a cube by swapping two pieces at a time until you solve all of the edges. Now keep in mind, tperm is not the only thing you use, you also use jperm. Now, you can see that instead of opposite edges getting swapped, you swap adjacent edges, and the same two corners get swapped. You also use the other jperm. Corners is a very similar story, only you only use one algorithm, and that's a modified y permutation. So, this is y perm. Two corners get swapped, two edges get swapped. It's impossible to swap only two corners or only two edges. Something else must be swapped. But if you look at a y perm a bit more closely, you can see that it starts out with an f move. Do everything, and then you undo it. So, if you just take those moves out, and do it without the f at the beginning and the f prime at the end, whatever sticker is here gets swapped with whatever, with whatever sticker is here. Now, that's very important to remember.